Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Anam from Anam's Culinary Cruise and today we'll be making a very scrumptious and traditional Pakistani dish. I'm making chicken achari. So this is the recipe of my very good friend and neighbor in Amman. And whenever I had it, it would taste super delicious. So I hope you like it as well. Let's get started. To make this delicious dish, we will need all these ingredients. We'll need around 1 kg chicken with bones. We'll need 1 cup tomato puree. I've used 3 small tomatoes to make this puree. We'll need half a bulb of garlic chopped finely. Half an inch of ginger chopped finely. 2 onions chopped finely. Half cup yogurt. This yogurt shouldn't be very sweet. It can be a day old because we are making achari chicken. We'll need some fresh jalapenos. Um, you can chop it lengthwise into four equal parts, but I'm keeping it whole because I like the texture this way. Uh, we will need coriander leaves for garnishing, red chilies, mustard oil, We'll need some lemon. We'll also need some spices such as coriander seeds, fenugreek seeds. We'll also need some uh, nigella seeds or black seeds. These are mustard seeds and cumin seeds. These all we'll need around two teaspoons. And we'll need some red chili powder. This you can have around, according to your taste, around one to one and a half teaspoon. Turmeric powder, one teaspoon. Salt to taste. So these are all the ingredients. So let's start with the cooking now. My friend Shamila, being a wonderful neighbor, would send us delicious home cooked food on several occasions. And chicken achari was one of those dishes. And it was so delicious that I wanted to take her recipe and make it myself. And it turned out super scrumptious. But I made slight variations to it. I added more whole jalapenos, more chopped garlic and ginger, more red chilies, and I also added a touch of coriander seeds. So I hope you like this recipe. So let's get started. I've added some mustard oil into a heated wok. Now I'm adding in the tomato puree. And then I will cook this for some time. Now I'm adding the chopped garlic and chopped ginger. And then we'll cook this for around 5 minutes. Adding in all the dry spices. And then we'll mix this. I've added the chicken. Now we'll mix this. You can see the chicken is nicely coated with the masala. Now I'll add some salt. While the chicken is cooking, I will make the onion mixture. So, for that, 
I'm adding oil into a heated frying pan. Mustard oil. Adding in the chopped onions. We will fry this until it turns brown. The onions are nicely caramelized. I have turned the stove off. Now I'm adding in the blended yogurt. And then I will give this a good mix. After cooling down the onion mixture, I'm going to blend it. Now I'm adding in the onion and yogurt mixture. Adding in the jalapenos and the red chilies and then we we'll mix this. We will cook this at low heat until the oil comes on top and the chicken is well cooked. We must cook it with the lid on. It's looking super delicious. Adding in the lemon juice. And then we'll mix this. 